Today I'm going to show you how to create an iPod driven eye feature. So first of all, when we create eye features, you need to draw up what you're going to have the eye feature um, you know, sort of take place. So for me today, it's going to be the slot, which is cutting into this component over here. To create your eye feature, go to the Manage tab and click on Extract Eye Feature, and then you can select that. Now, what you'll notice over here is that it says D33, D44, and D7. Now, I don't know if I hadn't created this. I don't know what that is. Or maybe I created it such a long time ago. I don't know what that is now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and just change those to some values that I know. So with the parameters over here, D44, I'm going to say I know this is the length. Okay, and the D33, that's going to be my width. Okay, so once I've got that, let's just see how that affects extracting the eye feature. Select my... Um, my hole, and you can see the length and width has automatically been taken out over there. Now, what I want to do now is I want to create an eye, um, uh, an eye, well, a table-driven eye feature, so that I can go and change the different dimensions or to to specified um, values that I've created. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an eye part out of this, and with the eye part there, you can see it's automatically taken length and width because it's a named parameter. I'm just going to go create two different rows over here and just go and change these over here so let's go change this to 40 and let's go and change this to 30 over here okay so that's what i need to do i want it to stay 20 but i want to change the length from 50 to 40 to 30 and select ok once that's done i'm going to go create a a an eye feature out of this now so extract eye feature select my slot okay and select that i'm going to say it must be a sheet metal eye feature um a punch eye feature because uh, it's going to be in my sheet metal components, and then select my sketch, which is going to be this one over there. Okay, so now that I've got that, I'm happy with it. Click on save, and then go save it under my um, eye feature folder over there. It's not in the project folder, so it will ask you these questions saying that it's not in the active fo project folder, but you just carry on ahead and create it. Okay, so that's been created there now. So I'm going to go to another part that I've created over here. And I'm going to say insert my eye feature. Now, when I insert my eye features, ask me, it'll go to my, uh, when my eye features are saved, I'm going to say my eye feature and click on open. And then I'll select on the face that I want it to um, be put on. Okay. When I click on next, you'll see their length 50 and 20, but where's my 40 and 30 gone? So if I select my 50, there we go. There my values will change up over there. I can go in here and, and you know, grab and move it around. It's a different location. I can click on the rotate and rotate it around over there as well. Okay. If I go back, you'll see that the angle has also changed. So I can also go and change the angle from that zero over there. Once that's done, click on finish and it goes and creates my um, my slot over there for me. Okay. Now, I, what happens if I wanted to go and edit this eye feature over here? So what you need to do is you need to go find um, the eye feature and go edit it um, through Inventor. So if I select, uh, the quickest way to find if you can't remember where, you, where all your eye features are saved, just click on the Manage tab, click on the drop down next to Angle Equal, and then View Eye Feature Catalog. This will then go to the, um, the catalog of where it is, and there you can see there's my eye feature. So I'm going to open this up directly inside Inventor. Okay, and there you can see it over there. And over here now, you can I can see I can I feature author table view catalog, which will take me back to that folder, um, and then as well as edit using spreadsheet. So I feature author table, okay, and it brings me up over here. So you can see the length and width. So now what I can do is I can say you know what, let's change this to fifteen, and let's change this to five over here. Okay, so. With changing to five over here, you'll see that I'm actually editing the eye feature. Okay, well, let's make, make it 10 over there. Okay, so there we go. So I do that, I save it. And from that, I can now go back to my eye feature and then go bring it in. So let's just go save, it's saved. I'm going to close that. Let's go see what that has done. So so I'm going to cancel this. Let's go back to insert eye feature and go back to that eye feature that I just modified. So my eye feature over here. Okay. And then what I can do is select the plane that I want it to be on. 
So you'll see it gives a preview of what it what, what's going on there. So just move this to the right over there, or the left, sorry. Uh, select next. And if I click on with, you'll see that I've got my different options now. And finish. Okay, so there we go. I've created two different eye features. Well, I've created one. I made it an Excel or table driven um, eye feature. And then once I was done with that, then I was able to then go and modify it um, if I wanted to change it from the table. Right. Thanks very much for watching.